What up guys, Pokey or Jude here. Um, I used to be a YouTuber if you didn't know, but I got kind of bored. So I stopped making videos. My friend told me I should try and make a video this month, so I'm gonna do that. In fact, he told me yesterday and I've decided to just freestyle one today. I tried writing a script. It was terrible. It was the worst thing I've ever read. So I prefer just freestyle. So, um, yeah, what's, uh, what's going on guys? First of all, sorry I've been away for so long. I just haven't been feeling YouTube, you know what I mean? But hey, we dropped under 200k, so that's always good. So there's a little, uh, little, little thing to shake it up. But yeah, I've just kind of been thinking a lot about how to try and be like a decent person and stuff. And like, you know, not only how to be a decent person, like, you know, be nice, be kind and stuff like that, which you hear all the time, but how, how you can actually like try and make, you know, how you can actually try and have a better impact. And one of the things I learned is always tell the truth. It sounds like some of your parents would say like, never lie. But um, there's so many reasons to always tell the truth. Like, first of all, you don't have to remember it. You don't have to remember any lies. And like when you when you tell lies, bro, I learned a bit about psychology and it, it rewires your brain and it, it, it just makes the framework of your brain more into a lie. So you're like less efficient and everything you say has like less value. It's kind of like metaphysics. -y. But like I'll link a video down in the description of like why he says you should always tell the truth. But trust me, man, you just try doing that. Like because if you if you don't lie then you have to live in a way you're proud of you know what i mean like you have to live in a way that like you know you're not gonna want to lie to anyone about what you do so you're gonna have to want to improve your standards for yourself you know what i mean i'm not really explaining this well but it's a big philosophy i've learned to just always try and tell the truth you know what i'm saying another thing it sounds kind of dumb but always try and impress yourself like you have to act in the way you want to be like it's so easy to like sort of be weak and stuff and like you know go below your standards but if you just practice trying to impress yourself like for real for real like trying to be genuine with it um it works like it you can actually like just do better, you know what I mean? Man, this video is terrible. Oh yeah, turning bad situations into good situations. Like, okay, last year some guy, I was about to say a worse word, but some guy stole my chocolate ice cream and I was, I was mad, okay? I was seething. I was like, what the hell do you think, what was wrong with you? But instead of getting really mad, like I thought, you know what, I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to better yourself. Cause let me tell you, I have a chocolate problem. I eat way too much chocolate. So I decided to quit chocolate. I mean, I could have just ate less, but I decided to quit t cold turkey. And um, it's just an example of trying to turn a bad thing into a good thing. Like you can, it, it honestly, it just makes you feel better when something bad happens and it makes you like improve your life. It's like, you can use everything as fuel to make your life better if you want to. Like, you can turn every situation into a lesson. You can turn every situation into energy to try and improve yourself. So, um, yeah, turn them bad to good, you know what I mean? Another example is, like, at the end of the last year, I was really, really, really bored. So I just decided, like, instead of just being bored and saying like, oh, this is a bad thing. Why don't I have anything exciting to do? I'll just, I'll just use this time to like learn something. So I just practice this thing that I was learning every day. So just, just an idea, you know, just a, just a thought. I also learned how good it is in life to have gratitude, like to just generally be thankful for like what's going on in your life, even if bad things happen and even if good things happen, like it's just such a healthy thing. It doesn't sound that good, but it, it kind of takes away a lot of the discomforts and anxieties in life. If you can just sit there and be grateful for what you have right now, like it really takes the pressure off. Like if you're scared of losing something, just be grateful you have it in the first place, you know? And finally, I think the big thing I've learned is that 
you can have a decent impact by just changing yourself like you don't have to do you, you don't have to look at the world and think wow this is depressing there's nothing i can do about this like if you change yourself you're going to have impact on everyone you meet you're going to have a good impact on the people around you and it's just going to be good bro so yeah that, those are some things i thought it would be kind of important to talk about um if you want to see more let me know have a good day guys